Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your Cornerstone Community Church service for uh, December the 18th. We've only got one week more before we actually are at Christmas time, and I'm looking forward to sparing, uh, sharing with you uh, also on that day. But today we're going to be looking at some Christmas carols, and then also as well, we're going to talk about the meaning of Christmas. But before we do anything, let's open our time with a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you today for the wonderful message of Christmas, and also as well, Lord, the uh, songs that we're going to sing and the wonderful message we're going to uh, bring forth today. We ask this now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to give you a personal invitation to our Cornerstone Community Church service that will be happening today. It's a combination of banquet and also Christmas concert, and we'd love to have you join us. Our doors open at 1045. Our service starts at 11 a.m., and we meet at Cornerstone Hall. That's number 6 Tache Street in downtown St. Albert. Well, we're going to start off with Joy, uh, the First Noel. The first Noel the angels did sing was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night. sing a, a favorite children's little uh, Christmas carol, Away in a Manger. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. A little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky
Well, the last Christmas carol we're going to do before our message is O Come All You Faithful. O come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye, to Bethlehem. Come and behold Him, born the King of Angels. O come, let us We're going to get ready to do our message for you. So let's pray right now. Father in heaven, we thank you for the word of God. And we thank you, Lord, for the meaning of Christmas. And now we ask your blessing upon this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, many people say, what is Christmas really all about? Well, I just want to give you a very powerful scripture, a familiar portion of scripture. And it says this, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The true meaning of Christmas is, of course, Jesus Christ. He is the reason for the season. He is the central focus and, of course, the object of Christmas. It's not the trees. It's not the toys. It's not the presents. It's not Santa Claus or the light or even the spirit of Christmas. Jesus Christ is Christmas, pure and simple. All the events uh, around or all the scriptures uh, and events, of course, center on him. This holiday is significant because it celebrates God becoming man and saving mankind from our sins through the birth of Jesus Christ. He was going to save his people from their sins. Now, of course, giving is more important rewarding than receiving, of course, at Christmas time. Our self-centered society, based on selfish ambition and covetousness, giving to others is so very important. You know what it does? It cultivates a self-worth. It makes you happy, giving does. Seeing the smiles, the gratitude, and expressions of hope on the faces of those you are kind to makes all the art of giving so worthwhile. Even research suggests that giving actually leads to greater happiness for the giver. Giving to others helps uh, inspire and teach responsibility. It actually cultivates self-worth and builds, builds self-worth in ourselves and our others. Also, it's okay to be different, okay? It's not bad to be different. You see, being different actually spices things up. When Jesus Christ came, of course, he was different from everybody else. It shows courage. 
it emphasizes, Christmas does, our authenticity, is a conversation starter, and shows creativity. You see, Jesus Christ came to break stereotypes, open people's mind, and in Jesus' case, our future depended on it. Also, as well, Christmas is important because it's importance of family. Family is the background of society. Christmas helps bring us together. A Harvard did a study and found out that this about the, about this about the importance of family. Family is the key to the success in life. When you have people who believe in you, you can accomplish so many things. Family lays the foundation for future relationships in life. It changes brain activity. A person is more social and more outgoing because of family. And of course, Christmas is all about family. You see, family promotes mental and social well-being. And lastly, it gives a better mindset and well-being. And Christmas is God giving us a gift who keeps on giving. Also as well, Christmas makes us thankful. And here are some reasons why to be thankful. Thankfulness actually improves relationship. It creates contentment. Thankfulness makes us feel good. Thankfulness keeps us healthy. And you need to have an attitude of gratitude. Thankfulness cultivates humility. It is also contagious. People around us are actually thankful that we're thankful. And Paul says, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God for those who are in Christ Jesus. Thankfulness is contagious. It produces positivity and also promotes generosity. Ebenezer Scrooge put it this way. Christmas is the one time of the year where people open up their stuffed up hearts. It also has and gives us our impact on others. Here are some things that you can do at Christmas to impact others. How about smiling more, remembering names, looking people in the eye, ask in thoughtful questions in your conversations at Christmas time, listen carefully, show kindness, of course. Spend time with them and be their friend. Do these and you will be an, a powerful ambassador for Jesus Christ during this Christmas season. So, Father, today we've given some ideas of what Christmas is and things that we can do during the Christmas time. And so, Lord, we ask that today you would bless this wonderful message and also the reason for the season. Thank you for this now. Now, of course, this is the time of the program where I pray for you. And uh, so I want to remind you about two scriptures. The first one is Philippians chapter 4, verse number 19. It simply says that our God is going to supply every need according to his riches and glory. So today, if you need have a need, God can meet that need. Also, as well, we have this wonderful scripture. It is today. Um, 1 Peter 2.24, this says, by his stripes are healed. Today, God wants to heal you. So if you need healing, let's pray. If you need provision, I will pray for you. So Father, today, whether it is provision or healing, thank you that, Lord, today we can receive that which we need right now. So Father, Thank you today that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and Jehovah Rophi, our healer. We are going to receive these right now, and we're going to thank you, Lord, for your wonderful provision. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, I'd like to sing to you again, uh, Oh, Come All You Faithful, but I'm going to turn it into a worship song. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. For He alone is worthy. For He alone is worthy. 
Christ the Lord. Well, I want to personally invite you to our service this morning. We have a Christmas concert and a Christmas banquet that's going to be happening. And it is at 11 a.m. We meet at Cornerstone Hall. That's number 6 Tashay Street in St. Albert. And we would love to have you join us for that service. And we, we meet at Cornerstone Hall, number 6 Tashay Street in St. Albert. Our doors open at 1045 and our service starts at 11 a.m. God bless you and thank you for spending time with me today. Lord, thank you for this service and thank you, Lord, for this day. We ask blessing upon each one as each one prepares for the holiday season. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. My name is Robert Dean Steele. I am the pastor of Cornerstone Community Church. Thank you for spending time with me this morning.